Hey, what is going on everybody? Eli Brooks here with Swish Gaming, and we're back with part two of the Pokemon Stadium Prime Cup Master Ball. Um, so again, those who missed the last episode, uh, we did battles one through four of the Prime Cup, which is again one of the hardest cups uh, in the game. Um, so today we're going to be doing battles five through eight, and we're going to see if we can take home the trophy. So, all right, well, hopping right into it here. Battle five, um, we're going against the cool female. Uh, looks like her team is Starmie, Dugong, Amistar, Polyrath, Venusaur, and Executor. So a lot of water and grass types. Um, so, I mean, there's really no reason to not start with Jolteon here, just because, I mean, the coverage is pretty good. And then we are gonna go Arcanine as well, um, just because it's a really good swap. And for our last slot, I think there is some motivation to go for Alakazam. Um, I'm kind of thinking Dragonite, though, just because Dragonite's really, really good against uh, Executor and Venusaur. Alakazam's not too bad against them either, though. Um, the only problem is this Ice Beam. Four of their Pokemon probably have Ice Beam or Blizzard. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go Alakazam. Yeah, I, I kind of like that better. And we do have Ice Punch, so we can deal with Executor. Starmie, okay, well, that was a pretty good pretty good one for us. Alright, so, just gonna lead off with a Thunderbolt here. It's easily just our best move. Should do some pretty good damage here. Oh, almost got it, okay. Okay. Alright, well, fire up another Thunderbolt. They probably won't switch if I had to guess here, so, yep. Alright, well, perfect. Alright, Starmie goes down. Um, it makes me almost think they might not have Venusaur or Executor since they didn't swap, but I, I could be wrong. Be nice if they just had three water types. Okay, nope, they do have Executor. Um, so, Executor is probably going to go for a Psychic here. Um, I do want to use Thunder Wave, though. I think I want to stifle it a little here. There is motivation to switch into Alakazam immediately because of Psychic, but I'm okay with this. Okay, so it's going for a Solar Beam. Um, ooh, man, I don't want any of my Pokemon to take that. Um, except we do have, oh, oh, I forgot we have Arcanine. Oh, I was thinking we had Dragonite. Well, even Dragonite would have been fine, but okay. Yeah, so I guess Arcanine is just a really good swap here. So, yeah, let's switch into that. We might even get a free swap if Executor is fully paralyzed, but, I mean, even that Solar Beam is not going to do a lot of damage. Oh, free turn. Okay, well, Arcanine doesn't take any damage from that. Awesome. So, yep, we're just going to fire off a Flamethrower. They could switch into a water type, but that's that's fine. Okay, they don't. This should be three hit KO. I don't think it's a two hit KO. Uh, seventeen. Nope. Yeah, it's a little over. <laughs> wow, we're getting some really good RNG on this one. Yeah, the uh, the toxic mist. So that's pretty cool. Critical hit, wow, oh my goodness, yeah, we're getting, we're getting really good RNG, alright, Executor goes down, um, I'm assuming their last slot is probably a water type, I'd be pretty shocked if it was Venusaur. Yep, Ugong, okay, um, I'm not gonna swap just yet, um, I think I'm gonna, cause we can at least survive one Surf minimum, um, and even a Hydro Pump, so... We're just going to go for a Body Slam, which, for those who don't know, Body Slam is really, really, really good in this game. Um, definitely having the, the high chance of paralysis is really good, in addition to having, being a pretty solid base stat. Surf, yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, hmm. Do we, how much do we really want to try to get the continue? Jolteon should be able to tank. A surf. The only way Jolteon goes down is if they get a critical hit. Um, but other than that, Jolteon will live it no problem. Yep, surf. 
Okay, yep, Jolteon took that pretty well. So, yeah, we're just gonna fire off a Thunderbolt, and that should be the battle. Man, Jolteon is so good in this game. Love using Jolteon. And, sure, why not? Critical hit. Icy on cake. Alright, perfect. Battle 4, well, Battle 5 is done. <laughs> Overall, battle went pretty well for us. We got another continue, um, which, for those who haven't watched the first episode, um, if we get no... If no po none of our Pokemon go down, we get an extra continue, which can definitely be nice uh, for especially these next couple battles. Um, this person here is going to be pretty tough, from what I remember. Um, yeah, exactly. Yep. So it's the bird, the bird boy. So the bird boy has Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Charizard, Pidgeotto, Firo. So obviously Pidgeotto and Firo are, are not that awesome. But Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres are pretty deadly. So this can be a really, really, really tough battle. And Charizard's also pretty solid, too. Um, um, usually our best lead is always just Jolteon. Like, there's no reason to not lead Jolteon. Um, and then we are going to go Nidoking, just because Nidoking has Rock Slide, which is really good against some of our Pokemon, really good against Zapdos. So no reason to not go Nidoking. The, the last slot, honestly, is kind of a toss-up. We've, we've got some pretty good options. I mean, Aerodactyl's not awesome, just because we do have to use Fly. Um, so we're not really looking for that. Um, Dragonite or Alakazam is the way we probably would want to go. Um, which, let's see, Dragonite has 278 special, Alakazam is 323. Uh, man, honestly, both are pretty okay. I, I think I might want to go Dragonite here just because we have more resistances. Um, just because with Charizard and Moltres. Um, hmm. Hmm. This one's honestly kind of tough. I don't know how much it's going to matter in the long run. I think we're going to go Alakazam just for the speed. Just because with Charizard and Moltres, I potentially don't want to get caught by Fire Spin looping. Moltres, okay, yep, we're definitely going to stay in with this. Um, we might get pretty hurt by a Fire Blast here, but that's honestly fine. We're, we're, I mean, it's going to hurt, but I'm okay with this. Yep, Fire Blast, should hang on, no problem. Okay, alright. Good job, Jolteon. Alright, so, Thunderbolt... Get rid of Moltres. I remember when I used to have a Moltres uh, in my first playthrough. Pokemon Red, a long time ago. I remember I was dumb and I wasted my Fire Blast TM, so the only fire move my Moltres had the entire time I had it was Fire Spin, because uh, in Gen 1 it doesn't naturally learn Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Okay, so Zapdos... I'm automatically just going to switch into Nidoking. Um, oh, what is it? Uh, Nidoking. I mean, the only thing it can really do to Nidoking is use Drill Peck, but Nidoking has pretty okay defense stats, so it's not going to do a ton of damage. More likely going for a Thunder Wave. Yep, exactly. So, Thunder Wave is really, really good in this game. Um, pretty much almost every Pokemon that can have Thunder Wave, usually you want Thunder Wave for the most part, with certain exceptions, but. So, oh my goodness, Nidoking's faster than Zapdos? Holy crap. Wow, alright, that did some pretty good damage there. Based on that damage, um, that is a two-hit KO Rock Slide, unless we get, like, a lower roll. Um, it's got an agility, so it's probably gonna go for a Drill Peck, I'm assuming. Yep, Drill Peck. Okay, alright, tanked it pretty good. Um, let's see if Rock Slide hits here. As long as we don't get a low roll, it's a 2 hit KO. Okay, alright, perfect. Alright, Zapdos goes down. Um, so, yeah, we're obviously looking really good here. I don't know, they, it, let's see if they choose all three. They chose all three birds, okay. It seems like most of the time when I battle the bird boy, they never actually choose all three of the legendary birds. So, Nidoking obviously doesn't have an amazing matchup against the Ice type, but um, we're going to go for Rock Slide. It's just double super effective. It'll do massive damage. If we, It's okay if we don't get another extra continue, honestly. it's that's We already have five, so... Okay, nope. Never mind. We got an extra continue. I, I'm pretty sure a Rock Slide 
would have taken out a regular one would have taken out Articuno. Um, but all right, perfect. So, well, we beat the Bird Boy. Um, the Bird Boy can definitely be a bit of a problem sometimes, just because obviously when you choose three legendary birds, sometimes it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> definitely with this battle. Um, is one of the ones where if you don't have a good electric type, um, you, you're probably just going to lose. Um, especially something like Jolteon. Jolteon is just incredible. Okay, so we're on to the semi-final battle here against, the, I believe it's the scientist. The lab man. Okay. So, team is Alakazam, Ditto, Gengar, Rapidash, Lapras, and Raichu. So this person overall is a pretty well-balanced team. Um, Gengar, Lapras, and Alakazam are all really, really powerful. Um, this is one of those teams where they're really well-balanced, so definitely just having the right lead is extremely important. Um, unfortunately, there's not really there's not really an easy lead here. I think there's some motivation to lead Nidoking. Um, so I think we are going to go ahead and do that. So I think our last remaining two, I think we want Jolteon, Alakazam. Arcanine is not really what we want to be doing in this matchup. Aerodactyl is pretty okay. Um, it just doesn't match up super well against Gengar or Lapras. Um, See, so yeah, I think we're going to go Needle King, Alakazam, and Jolteon. Just Jolteon's going to be really good in this matchup. Especially against Lapras. That's pretty much our only Pokemon we have that can actually take out Lapras. Okay, that was a really great lead for us. And now we know that they didn't pick... Um, at least one of the three that I mentioned, Alakazam, um, Lapras, or one of the Gengar. Okay, switching into Alakazam for them, which, I mean, we're just going to rock them with an Earthquake here. So that's pretty good for us. We're going to get a ton of damage on Alakazam here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so it's, it's just going to go for a Psychic. So, um... I think we're just going to swap into Alakazam here and then hope our Alakazam is faster than theirs. Because the clearly it's going to go for a Psychic. There's no other move that it's that it's going to go for. Psychic, yep. Okay. Okay, tanked it. Alright, so we are going to go for an Ice Punch here. So, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the reason why, I don't know if, I forgot to mention this in the last video, actually, but the reason, um, Ice Punch, if you saw that, the move was purple, was because I had sent this Alakazam to Gold and Silver in Generation 2 to teach it Ice Punch and send it back. Um, same with Aerodactyl's Earthquake, that's why it's purple. Um, it's because it's not a move that it recognizes the Pokemon being able to learn in this generation, which is why it, it has that, so, um, but... So, definitely Rapidash is, um, I think there's motivation to go for a Thunder Wave, but I think I'm just going to fire off a Psychic here. Um, I wasn't sure if Rapidash was going to be faster or not, but the, a Psychic should be a 2 hit KO. Okay, yep, so Fire Blast probably, Body Slam, Agility, okay. I'm not sure what they're going to go for. They're probably just going to go for a Body Slam. Or... Oh, the Fire Spin Stall. Okay. So, looks like, yeah, we probably should have gone for the Thunder Wave. <laughs> so, okay. Um, We're going to go ahead and swap. Um, I think we're going to swap it in Needle King. So, uh, I, for those who didn't watch our first video with Bind... Um, Basically, Fire Spin, Bind, and Wrap, they all do continuous damage. Um, you're not able to move in this generation when you're wrapped or when you're under that, but if you swap, the turn ends automatically. Um, so that's why. So pretty much what we're going to be doing now for the next couple turns is we're going to keep switching until Fire Spin misses, because it only has an 85% accuracy, I believe. So we're just going to be doing some swapping. That's, that's essentially what we're going to be doing until Lapra, until Rapidash uh, misses um, a fire spin. So, could get a little boring here for a second, but, yep, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for just a miss. Yeah, we definitely should have gone for the Thunder Wave. I didn't, I, I guess I should have thought about fire spin. That's kind of Rapidash's main gimmick in this game. 
is Fire Spin Stall with Agility. Okay, win another one. So yeah, I don't know what their last Pokemon is going to be, um, but odds are we're going to want Jolteon against them, so we're not going to switch into Jolteon. Okay, and you can again, and we use Earthquake. See if it'll miss. 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 Oh, a critical hit. Still didn't do any damage, really, but... Oh, wow, this is fun. I'm really glad that they changed this mechanic after Generation 1, because, man, this is just ridiculous. You gotta love the, the draw-go, draw-go, draw-go. Miss. Miss. That's not a miss. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... <laughs> we switch again. Oh, my goodness. Let me make sure that... Uh, I'm going to look it up real quick to make sure that it... Uh... Okay, it is 85% accurate. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that... That was right, okay. Okay, so we just need one of them to miss. Yes, there we go. Okay, Earthquake takes it out. All right. Whew, good. I really didn't want to sit here for a while with the fire spin misses. Um, I understand the CPU has all day, but that doesn't mean we do. So, which that's one thing that makes me so mad about this game sometimes, is especially with other home console Pokemon games. Well, even the main series ones is the CPUs will stall you out and they have no problem doing it. They don't care one bit. Okay, so we're just going to fire off an Earthquake here, get some good damage off. Ditto is obviously probably going to survive this and it's going to transform into Nidoking. So, both of our, I mean, Jolteon is not awesome, obviously, against now, the now transformed Nidoking. Uh, but worst case scenario is Nido, our Nidoking goes down and then we switch an alkazam and it takes it out so we'll see if we win the speed tie and we won the speed tie i don't think we could have even unless ditto got a one hit ko we wouldn't have gone down to our own earthquake so okay perfect well after a somewhat lengthy battle uh we managed to win it after the fire's been stalling so all right we got another continue so now we have seven continues to be able to win this last battle here. So one thing that's interesting is this last battle, uh, it's it's definitely the toughest in the cup. It's, it's a very, very challenging battle. Um, all their Pokemon are pretty solid. So yeah, we're going to hop into it and we're going to see what happens. Um, we'll see if we have to use any more continues or anything. Okay. Final battle against the cool male. So, all right, well, you've seen it here. Their, pro their team is Mew, Electrode, Snorlax, Cloyster, Rhydon, and Arcanine. So, their whole team is pretty balanced. All their team members are honestly pretty solid. They all have a pretty good role. This one comes down to having a good lead. So, one thing to note for this battle is they always use Mew second. Um, they either, they'll sometimes swap into Mew, or if you knock out their first Pokemon, it will always be Mew every single time. Um, this is really tough, honestly, for what we might want to start with. I think I'm leaning toward leading Alakazam. I think that's, I think that's what I'm leaning to here. Just because regardless of what they throw out, we have at least a Thunder Wave threat, or, you know, we could do really anything. So we're going to lead Alakazam, and then we're going to go Jolteon, and I think I think Nidoking again. I just think Nidoking is our is going to be a key to this battle for sure. It's not super good against Mew, um, which is just somewhat of a downside. I think there's some motivation to maybe go for Dragonite, or even Aerodactyl, honestly, just because of 
because they can combat Mew better. But then again, what we want to do is we want Jolteon to fight Mew, ideally, or Alakazam. Nidoking is mostly just because we want to be able to beat Arcanine. It's pretty good against Rhydon. Um, oh, man. As I'm sitting here thinking, I almost kind of want to go Arcanine. Man, this is... This is tough. Um... Okay, we're going to go Nidoking. This is... Again, it's just... It's so hard to really fully balance this out. Right, let's see, their lead is Arcanine. Okay, I did not expect Arcanine. So, first thing, we're going to fire off a Thunder Wave. They're switching. Probably into Mew? Okay, wow. Alright, so that was a really good first turn for us, because obviously we're firing off Thunder Wave on Mew. So, this is going to sound really, really silly. Um, but we are going to actually fire off Psychics, because Psychic has a one a one third percent chance of dropping um, dropping the special stat. Which in this game, special attack and special defense is the same stat. So we're actually going to start spamming Psychic and try and get some special drops off on Mew. Um, just so we can try and weaken it. Instead of using Ice Punch. Bingo. Okay, so we got the first one. So now it's basically it's special def attack and special defense have been weakened by one stat, which is it, which is gonna play a really big role here. I think there is some motivation if we get if they get a special drop on us, we are gonna switch probably into Jolteon. Um, okay, so fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. Okay, well, looks like neither team did anything. All right. So, yep, we're just going to keep using Psychic here, try and power it up. Our Psychic is going to start building up some damage here, which is really nice. See? That did a lot more damage, just with one special drop. Okay, alright, they didn't get one on us, so that's pretty good. Just keep using... Keep using Psychic. Alright, perfect, we got this one off. Even if we don't get one here... Another special drop. That is incredible. And a pair. Oh my goodness. Our RNG has just been crazy good. My goodness. Oh, okay. Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Another psychic. Dang. Okay. Fully paralyzed. Fully, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've never seen that happen before, usually they never get fully paralyzed, like, the main reason you want to paralyze them is just to slow them down, you never even get it off in this game, it seems like, against Prime Cup, too. Okay, well, Mew goes down and got two attacks off the entire time, so that was a huge momentum swing. Okay, so, going into Arcanine here, um, Alakazam... For the most part has done its job the only thing that scares me is with Rhydon. um i think we're just gonna go for a thunder wave um i don't know what they're gonna do going for a dig okay i really did not expect dig hmm okay interesting so yeah we're just gonna fire off a thunder wave here I really did not expect Dig. Figured they would be going for a body slam or something. Okay, come on, Alakazam. Come on, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave. Oh, darn, 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 darn. Okay, so they might go for a Dig again, so we're actually going to go for Recover. Okay, they're going for Dig again. Come on, Alakazam. Recover, Recover, Recover. Oh, okay. All right. So we get another shot at hitting it with a Thunder Wave. Perfect. Okay, so Thunder Wave. All right. Come on, Alakazam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Got the Thunder Wave off. It's definitely going to help a lot. Um, I'm not going to switch into Jolteon or... Nidoking specifically because I do not want to get hit with the dig. So we, at this point, if Canine, oh, Canine, if Arcanine wants to just keep using dig, we'll just use recover. So at this point, we're we're just gonna 
we're gonna have Alakazam fight Arcanine. Okay, we got Psychic off. Critical hit! Oh my goodness! Oh, it almost took it out! It almost took it out! Oh, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and use another recover, just because we are faster. So, come on, Alakazam. Oh, yes! Alright, got the recover. Perfect. Heal us up. Use dig. Okay. Man, Alakazam is just killing it right now. Okay, Psychic. Come on, Alakazam. Yes! Alright. Got the Psychic off. Okay, so wow. Alright, they have one Pokemon left. Um, I guess we really just don't want to see Snorlax. That's the main one we don't want to see. Cloyster, oh my goodness, that was, like, probably the best possible Pokemon. So, man, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna, we're, I'm just gonna switch into Joltan, because I know that Thunderbolt is gonna be a one-hit KO, so we're just gonna try and go for the, go for, uh, go for the continue here, even though it's the last battle. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got this wrapped up. Takedown, yeah, that's gonna do nothing. Take a little recoil. Okay, alright, well, a Thunderbolt should take it out. Man, are we gonna go... Are we gonna go get eight continues? Second take it out. Yes! Oh, man. Alright, so, we won Prime Cup Master Ball. Oh, wow. I That was... That was probably the best RNG I've ever had in this final battle. This final battle is extremely challenging. And we went through the entire cup without having a single Pokemon faint. That is just incredible. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I that's probably one of my first times. So, all right. Hall of Fame. Alakazam. Jolteon. Yeah, Needle King. Arcanine. Dragonite. And of course, Aerodactyl. Wow, I cannot believe cannot believe how well that, that went for us. So alright, there we go. Prime Cup Master Ball is clear. Well, that being said, um the cup is over. So Again, this was episode 4 of Gaming with Eli. Uh, we did some Pokemon Stadium, Prime Cup Master Ball. Um, unsure yet what the next video is going to be, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be another Pokemon Stadium video. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, oh, go ahead and put those in the comments. Obviously, you know, we always do read those. So, you know, if you want to see a specific game or a specific cup, just let us know. Um, again, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me here today with episode 4 of Gaming with Eli. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you want to check out some more videos, go to Swish Gaming's YouTube page or go to SwishGaming.com. Check out some new articles. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for joining. Have a great rest of your day.